That shit's good. I got boiling water already. Okay, we got second take on that simple, simple syrup. Okay, I'm answering the question, how to make simple syrup. This is probably the simplest. You're going to find out how this, this item got its name immediately here, okay? I'm going to take equal parts of sugar and water, and this is a kind of like a little mixed up measurement, if you will, because I'm going to use a cup of sugar and a cup of water. Usually you'll see a recipe that might say 12 ounces of sugar and one cup of water. Just use a cup for both. So I'm going to take a cup of sugar, put it in a pot, then I'm going to take a cup of water. It can be cold or hot. I just happen to have some hot here. Put it in there together and bring it up to a boil. As soon as you bring it to a boil, it's done, okay, and it becomes clear. Now, what do you use simple syrup for? Simple syrup keeps popping up in literally thousands of different kinds of recipes. One of my favorites, of course, which you'll never find this one in a recipe, is just using it to season lemonade if you're using straight regular sugar. Uh, it doesn't dissolve in the cold water like simple syrup is already dissolved. You just add it to it so you don't have that graininess in the lemonade. Uh, but you'll find that um, it's in, oh, it must be in maybe 15 or 20 of my own dessert videos that are in this library. And um, you just use it for all kinds of stuff, you know. But um, it is almost to a boil, and I'll be back in a minute or two as soon as it comes to a boil. I'll be right back right now. All right, about actually three or four minutes has passed, and uh, the simple syrup has come to a boil, and it's clear now, and all the sugar is dissolved inside. And there we go. with the simple syrup. Now, depending on how many uses you think you have for this, of course, we also, we use this in the candied pecans and of candied walnuts and so on, and that's part of the reason why I'm demonstrating this, but this is a good item to just have in your repertoire, how to make simple syrup. Um, God knows if somebody said how to make simple syrup and you don't know how to make anything this simple, they go, oh my God. But uh, anyway, uh, there you have it, simple syrup, and uh, you can store this at room temperature covered for, believe it or not, six months to a year. And it's not a problem at all. Remember, sugar is probably one of the biggest preservatives around besides salt and nitrates. And um, sugar just lasts forever. So there you have it, simple syrup. Have fun with it and stick it in your repertoire. Bye-bye.